Well, everyone, all right. Thanks for everybody for joining. Um, I'll be covering our latest release of version 18. My name is Matthew Haney, and I'm the channel manager um, for the Northeast and Canada for 3CX. Feel free to ask questions in the chat. Um, we'll answer questions at the end. So it's taken us two years of hard work to release version 18. And as you'll see, it was well worth the wait. Version 18 delivers a customer communication system. Our vision was to connect companies both internally and with their customers. As a result, as a result clients are assisted faster, better, and more efficiently. We created a single integrated solution encompassing messaging calls and video. And customers may want to reach out by messaging, by a messaging medium for a quick answer, but voice remains king for most complex questions or issues. These are the things we've been working on. The highly requested Microsoft Teams integration is here. Um, we just released the beta for V18 for Windows on Monday, so that's something we have been working on. Um, we're working on increasing our high standards of security and reliability. We worked on voice engine improvements, improved messaging functionalities, and better video conferencing performance and usability. And by doing so, we implemented the top 10 forum requests. Version 18 brings better codec management. We improved audio quality by using G711 when on Wi-Fi and G729 when on the mobile data network. You can also select a full a default codec throughout your 3CX system for all the apps. We also tuned the voice engine, updating to the latest SIP library for your compatibility. You can now encrypt calls much simpler. Um, we made it much easier to configure SRTP, and our apps are fully IPv6 compliant. We merged the tunnel into a media server, into the media server for apps and the SBC. This means more reliable and faster recovery from network drops or changes. On top of this, we reduced processor and memory usage by more than 50%, and this is extremely important for cloud deployment. So to take full advantage of these changes, we updated our iOS and Android app. The result is a noticeable improvement in audio quality and reliability. Plus, we completely rewrote our push integration based on Google's and Apple's recommendations. So you're likely to so you're unlikely to ever miss a call again, and certainly not on an account of a missed push request. We also updated to Debian 10. We upgraded to the latest .NET Core, Open SSL, and Postgres. Don't underestimate the importance of staying up to date. Some of our competitors are on operating systems that have been end of life for years. So and we have the latest ciphers. So now we have an A plus rating on Qualys Labs and an A on Immunilabs. And you won't fully appreciate this until you get hacked. We passed the PCI, HIPAA, and NIST tests and follow the industry's best practices. We now support single sign-on. You can log into the web client and management console using your Active Directory, Microsoft 365, or Google account. Uh, local Active Directory accounts are supported by a Microsoft free Azure AD Connect service. This way you can achieve two-factor authentication if you use Microsoft 365 or Google G Suite. And if you run on just Active Directory, you can use, you can sync to Azure AD in the cloud free of charge and do single sign-on from there. A massive new feature is the Microsoft Teams integration. By our Teams SIP proxy, 3CX users can call Teams users. In turn, Teams users can dial out via 3CX SIP trunks and call 3CX extension. Give Teams telephony only to a few selected users that really need it, everyone else can use 3C Act and saves a lot of money. Um, team users can enjoy a much more powerful PBX when integrated with 3C Act, and 3C Act Teams integration uses direct routing, also known as SBC trunking. The 3C Act Teams integration is more than just an SBC, which has certain drawbacks, such as extensions being idle and Teams users' calls being missing from the call reports. This also enhances call quality as users enjoy less hops, less errors, and less delays than when using a connection directly via an SBC. So this is a huge opportunity for our partners, and this is why. Teams has 145 million daily active users. 
Exchange is a free add-on for existing Microsoft 365 users, and it is the number one collaboration platform in the world. However, it does lack telephony and has a high price point, which is where 3CX fits in. Plus, all of our free downloaders can trial this, creating more of the hottest leads for you, our valued partner base. The Microsoft Teams integration was the number one feature request of our partner base in 2020, and is included only in the enterprise edition of the 3CX license. So we've also made admin rights more granular. The new phone system role, phone system admin, allows management of phone system tasks, such as adding extensions, changing holiday settings, access to ring groups, things like that. This role does not allow system level management or SIP trunk changes. As we all know, inexperienced users should not mess around with SIP trunks or configurations. Um, so another highly requested feature, the audit log enables you to track all the changes made within your PBX. So now it's easier to monitor who did what inside your PBX. No more mystery changes and admin can be held accountable for any changes they make. So that's a, that was a pretty big one. Um, some other admin features, we've added the top 10 forum ideas to version 18, such as IVR improvements, normalized caller IDs to E164. We reorganized the management console, making it more intuitive and easier to navigate. And on Windows, you can now install the web client as a native Windows app using a framework called Electron, which is also used by WhatsApp and Teams. This means it integrates better with the operating system, elim eliminating the need to log in if authenticated on Windows. This also means there's no need to install a separate Google Chrome extension. You can now keep the 3CX client next to your main workspace, for example, for example Office or a CRM. This is very similar to the old Windows client. First off, we will support the new Google messaging. This appears in searches in Google Maps and allows customers to reach out to you easily. We will be adding Apple iMessage. We're including MMS and one-way SMS with alphanumeric sender ID in future updates. These are useful for customer notifications. A chat IVR for web visitors is also coming up, which gives visitors the option to select relevant department for their inquiry, for example, sales or support. And chat ratings and improved reports will allow you to elevate the performance of your agents and customer satisfaction. So 3CX video conferencing became a lifeline for many businesses during the global lockdowns of the past two years, as it was the closest we could come into contact with both customers and colleagues alike. Through this pandemic, we've seen an increase of 250% in video conferencing usage, and it shows no signs of slowing down. So here are a few things that we've done. We've created our own algorithms to manage users' bandwidth issues. We added a modern and simplified UI that brings even more functionality to users, especially those presenting, such as uh, teachers or tutors, or professors, things like that. Um, we redeveloped the 3CX video conferencing apps, added more MCUs, including one in Moscow, and we will continue to invest in video conferencing and focus on your privacy. For version 18, we created integrated video conferencing, meaning your videos run in your 3CX system and no longer in the cloud. This enhances your data privacy, makes it easier to dial in, and we also created easy-to-use URLs. And this will give you 100% control of your media processing. For banks, insurance, and medical companies, and government agencies, this is an absolute must. Um, recurring meetings and group-based meeting rooms are also on our roadmap. And soon we will update your 3CX profile status upon entry into a video conference and add, in, and add dial in functionality to your personal meeting rooms. And here's what we're bringing to video conferencing soon. A new codec, which uh, reduces bandwidth and offers even better video quality. The ability to configure your own MCU deployment will be coming soon. The new codec AV1, which consumes less bandwidth, better video quality, and consumes 124, I don't know what KN stands for, but 124 KN per stream. Um, you also will have recurring meetings an auto update of an extension status within a video conference, 
and group-based meeting rooms. The request for roadmap comes up frequently, so here's a summary of what to expect in the upcoming updates in regards to in regards to ETA, please check our blog and the mailers for more information. Um, but we have our sites set on Siri and CarPlay, Android, Android 12 and Android Auto, Google Messaging, Apple iMessage, MMS and the one-way SMS with alphanumeric. Also coming up, chat rating, email chat transcript, um, source URL, meaning knowing which web page the customer initiated the chat from, uh, more chat reports, better CRM integration for chat, a chat IVR. We'll also be supporting the new uh, Yaylink headsets. Um, also coming, Zamod help desk integration, which in which users will sync with Zamod. Within Zamod, you can use macro for tech snippets, the knowledge base in which you may import your frequent Q&As. Using these functions can save you time, improve customer service, and ensure uniformity in the answers provided. Um, so here's the, some examples that you can use. There's a mod. for a bundle and integrate. The mod runs with 3CX. We use the mod um, in-house here for our ticketing system. It, it works really good. So far this year, I think I've closed over 2,000 tickets. Anyway, that's the end of my part, so I will throw it over to Corey, and again, we'll answer questions at the end. Yeah, while we're going, that's uh, that's a lot of great changes, Matt. That that's a pretty impressive list of uh, adjustments there. Thank you for uh, for having uh, having us join you here. I just wanted to take a couple minutes and go through some of our uh, phone products and offerings here as well. Um, so for some of you that are familiar with SNOM, obviously we make a lot of different uh, products, conference phones, uh, mobility products, deck products, and desk phones. Um, whether you say SNOM or SNOM, you're correct either way, so don't worry about it. <laughs> so we have people that say it either way and you're fine whichever way you decide to say it. Uh, so I'll touch on, I'm gonna put a few different slides up here, but I'll try to fly through a few of them so it doesn't take up too much time, too much of your day. Uh, but what I, one of the things I did want to touch on is obviously VTech owns Snome. Uh, VTech is a large manufacturing company. Um, we've been, you know, in telecommunications for more than 25 years. In 2016, they acquired Snome, and now we do have complete end-to-end uh, -end solutions from design, engineering, manufacturing, in-house. Um, some of the other advantages we have are North American-based sales, tech support, warehouse distribution. We have a warehouse in San Antonio, so everything ships to the distributors from San Antonio. Um, so there's some key benefits or, or that we have uh, over some of our competitors. One of the other big things we have is we do offer a three-year warranty on all of our products as well, which uh, of all of the actual phones, that includes the deck products. So not just the desk phones, but deck products and conference phones. And yeah, mobile handsets, those are covered for three years. Not, not if you throw them against the wall, but <laughs> they are covered in a three-year warranty as well. So I'll briefly go through kind of the cornerstone of the uh, the product line, which is the D700 series. Um, the D700 series, uh, well, one of the one of the key things is that it's in stock. Um, it's very competitively priced. We lowered our prices back in April of this year, um, and so it should be extremely competitively priced. And again, on hand we have all of the models in in San Antonio, and that includes all of our deck product and conference ones as well. But uh, you know, I know inventory is a little spotty at times. We do actually have um, all of our inventory currently. Uh, the D717 is the base model, uh, can handle up to six SIP accounts. Three programmable keys, so it is a very a basic model, but it does have what all the 700 series have, which is a USB port um, and the solid state hook switch, um, and just kind of a great feel. I don't know if, if you've picked one up, uh, a lot of the comments we get is it just has a nice feel to it. Uh, when you go to the t the 735, um, you you get up to 32 function keys, so you've got quite a few function keys. Again, a pretty aggressive pricing, um, and with this one, you have a unique feature in the line. Even the model above it doesn't have it, which is a motion sensor. So it's a proximity sensor. When your hand gets near the screen, it will light up, so you can clearly see what's on the screen to make a call or who's calling. Again, this does have the USB port as well. And then the seven, uh, the D785 has the larger display. 
uh, 4.3 inch display and a secondary LCD screen. So the advantage of that is it keeps your call screen and your action screen up on top clear of your, um, you know, of your uh, 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 action keys that are on the side. So you've got six function keys down below and you've got four pages. So you've got a total of 24 BLFs down there as well. So some of the, uh, obviously there's a lot of people, a lot of phones going to home and office currently. Uh, but with the USB port, the two things that you can do, um, you can add a Wi-Fi dongle to that. We do actually make the A210 Wi-Fi dongle. Um, and then you can also, in that same USB port, you can add a DECT dongle, which would tie our uh, DECT wireless conference phone to any of those phones as well, and kind of make it a executive conference phone. So you can tie the USB dongle to any of those three phones and then you know, use hands-free operation in a conference phone with that. Uh, so the conferencing solutions, we have the C520 has been our staple. It's our wired conference phone with wireless mics. The wireless mics can be moved anywhere throughout the room. Um, the C620 is a true wireless conference phone. It gives you decked with a rechargeable battery in the conference phone itself. So you have not only the decked wireless mics, but you also have the decked wireless conference phone itself. Um, so with that, you have up to 24 hours of talk time, uh, 12 hours in wideband, uh, but it will, both of these models will support expansion with that C52 expansion speakerphone that also works with the D700 series. And this just shows the scale, um, obviously you get larger and probably more appropriate is people not sitting as close together. <laughs> so even though you have, you know, two to eight people, 10 to 16 people in a larger room, um, obviously people are starting, are sitting more apart where they can. Um, even in some cases where you have a huddle room next to a conference room to create some separation. This gives you some flexibility to be able to add the C52 expansion speaker phone to one of the conference phones to create some spacing. Uh, probably don't need to touch too much on this, but uh, the PA1, our, our public address uh, unit, we actually do have these uh, on the way, and this has been a popular one over the years. Um, one of our focuses has been trying to focus on vertical industries um, and where the products would fit in greatly. And obviously there's a lot of different areas from SMB, restaurant, retail, warehouse, healthcare, and home. Um, but one of the one of the key focuses we have with our deck product is um, uh, hosp is a healthcare with our multi cell solution, uh, but also restaurant and retail with our KLE solution. Uh, with the M900, it's the new multi cell solution, so you can actually tie up to six uh, sorry up to a thousand uh, base stations together, um, and up to thirty handsets per base station. So you can have a total of four thousand handsets. Um, haven't seen that large of a deployment yet. However, the footprint of what you can accomplish with this is, is key. So having up to a thousand base stations, obviously you can have a large warehouse, you can have a large um, uh, hospital campus. So there's different ways that you can uh, utilize the M900 series. The, th the three handsets that are currently available are a standard um, M70 handset, the ruggedized M80, and then the antibacterial M90 handset. And this is, again, just a real quick showing of how multi-cell works. The cells, the bases communicate to each other uh, to overcome obstacles, but also allows you to float to different areas. The, the KLE line is our key line emulation. Uh, this works really well in restaurant and retail um, and small office for that matter too. But what it does is it will ring uh, line one, so like L1 will flash on the screen itself um, or on the uh, L1 itself, here we go. Uh, you can put that on hold from the phone and then you can have anybody pick up that L1 from that's connected to that base. Um, you can have up to 10 of the handsets or desk sets connected to a single base and anybody connected to that system can then pl easily place a call on hold and then pick it up uh, from from a different phone. Uh, this is great, obviously, when you have to work with, you know, training of how, how to park calls and things like that. Um, one of the last things here would be our rebate. Um, our rebate program is uh, currently going through, I think it says July, but it's actually the end of March next year. 
Um, this is a great sales tool for um, uh, competitive situations here as well. This is for the end user themselves. Um, so as you can see, you know, our, our even our M, our, our should, excuse me, our D120 has a three dollar rebate on it. Uh, but anywhere from ten, fifteen, twenty dollars for the D700 series phone. Uh, so that's a large incentive uh, to help you out in the field. And then our conference phones also have a thirty-five dollar rebate on them as well. Um, including any of the handsets. So uh, any of the decked handsets or deck products also have rebates on them as well. Um, so some of the other key advantages, we do have not for resale samples that are available. Um, we do have a, a minimum uh, advertised price. Um, so as far as working in competitive situations, you should see the minimum advertised pricing uh, throughout the internet. Um, and with our unique product, there's some new opportunities that will come up because there's some different product again with the M900 and the Kaylee and even the uh, deck conference phones that make it unique. So if anybody has questions or wants to register, you know, we've got all the information here, please feel free to reach out to me as well. Uh, there's our, our happy team. Uh, I am Corey Cather. Pam Marty is my partner with 3CX. So we she carries the Eastern US and I cover the Western US. Uh, Sarah is helps with onboarding. So she's somebody at some point you definitely would talk to. Uh, Antoine in Canada and then Simon is our sales engineer. That was it. I think I blew through that and talked about as fast as I possibly could. Um, <laughs> so Matt, uh, if you have anything else, I would, I would turn it up to you or if you have if we have questions we're going to get to. Um, of course, always, if you need anything from me, you should have my, my contact information. Um, you're also VoIP supply um, customers, so get in touch with them as well. And uh, I will see everybody on the next uh, the next webinar. Yeah, have a great day. Thanks a lot.